<laughs> to enhance the discoverability of your notes, we can turn to a simple habit you probably remember from school, highlighting the most important points. Highlighting is an activity that everyone understands, takes hardly any additional effort, and works in any app you might use. But instead of only one round of highlighting, I'll teach you a method of layering several on top of one another. I call this technique progressive summarization. And it takes advantage of the power of digital notes to make highlights far more useful than anything you did in school. The technique is simple. Save excerpts with the most resonant parts of whatever you're reading or listening to the parts that are most interesting, useful, personal, or surprising. Then, within the excerpts you've captured, you will bold the main points. As a final step, if you come back again to this note, you do this one more time and highlight the most important part of the bolded sections again. By the end of this process, you have three layers of highlighting, allowing your eye to jump straight to the most important parts anytime you visit this note in the future. So what exactly does this accomplish? Let's look at an example. Here's an article in Psychology Today. Instead of capturing the whole text, I do my first layer of summarization. I capture just the most important quotes. By limiting what I keep to the best, most important, most relevant parts, I'm making all the next steps of distilling much easier. And if I ever need to know the full details, I can always include a link to the original article right there at the bottom. But this is still a lot of information. To further enhance this note's discoverability, I need to add a second layer of distillation. I usually do this when I have free time, during breaks or on evenings or weekends, when I come across the note while working on other projects, or when I don't have the energy for more focused work. So here's layer two, bolding the main points within the note. Looking over the bolded parts of the same note here, you can see how much easier it is to quickly grasp the gist of this note already. Imagine the difference between reading the original article, which might take five to 10 minutes of focused attention, versus glancing over these bolded points, which would take less than a minute. Layer three of progressive summarization is only for notes that are especially long, interesting, or valuable. You can see I now used the highlighting feature offered by many notes apps which paints passages in bright yellow. If your notes app doesn't have a highlighting feature, you can use underlining or another kind of formatting instead. The combined bolded and highlighted sections should be just one or two sentences each. But these passages capture the message of the original source beautifully. Now when I come across this note in the future, I'll be able to decide in the blink of an eye whether this source is relevant to my needs. If it is, I'll have all the additional details and context I need to remember it right in front of me, as well as the link to the original article to check the source. Remember, speed is everything when it comes to discovering your past notes. You have a limited amount of time and energy, and the faster you can move through your notes, the more diverse and interesting ideas you can collect and connect together. Mm -hmm.